Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you today um, a rather lovely old Jaguar from 1991. This is the XJ40 model. Uh, it's a very interesting car. Um, it's a 3.2 um, base model with a host of extras which I'll run through. Um, but it is in the very lovely Solent Blue. Um, makes a big difference, I think, getting one of these Jaguars in the right colour. Now this is absolutely uh, the right car to just jump in and enjoy as a classic car which you can just, just get into and take the benefit of the fact that somebody has spent over £3,000 recommissioning this car. Now the car was supplied new uh, by Taggart's. Uh, the car still has all of its documentation including dealer number plates and the sticker in the back. Um, it was uh, approximately three years old when it was then sold under the Jaguar used car scheme to a gentleman who owned the car right through to 2020 I believe. Um, and at that point um, it was sold to an enthusiast. The enthusiast spent rather a lot of money getting this car from out of the garage and onto the road. Now I have in the advert listed the work that was carried out at that time, but as you would expect, that was a new set of tires, replacement brakes, replacement suspension front and rear. It had a fuel pump, uh, it had brake lines, it had fuel lines. In fact, anything you could imagine that would probably be required for a car that's been parked up for a number of years in a garage. Um, it had a major service and it went back onto the road and it drives beautifully as you would imagine with a set of new tyres and new suspension uh, it feels really fresh. Now the uh, extras that I mentioned um, this is an automatic gearbox, a Solent Blue metallic paint and electric sunroof, a very rare edition of a, a TWR Jaguar Sport steering wheel, which I'll show you. Um, yeah, you don't often see those, and they're in wonderful. That's in wonderful condition. Uh, it's got the doe hide leather interior, and, and in fact, all the woodwork is in excellent condition. As is the uh, headlining, Jaguar carpet mats. Um, carpets are all in beautiful order, and then that is the paperwork. Uh, lovely to have all the dealer folders, including the service book uh, and handbooks, and a whole bunch of information which is tucked away in there, which talks about the service and, and maintenance. Now, while, while we're in the car, we may as well have a look at just how, look the, how good the XJ40 looks inside. And this one is in lovely order. Now, the car itself, as I mentioned earlier, is ready to just jump in and enjoy. It's fair to say that pretty much every single panel has probably got some uh, imperfection somewhere. And I'm going to walk around the whole car and point out everything to you. And if you want to take this car to car shows and get it up into the real um, top spec, then you would probably have to embark on some paintwork here and there. Uh, or you would do what I would do, and I would drive this lovely car exactly as it is and just accept the fact that in one or two areas the paintwork does show its age not through any serious rust or corrosion or it's really just some marks where it's been in storage the chrome is particularly good on the car um, and as i say i am an absolute sucker for the solent blue i think it looks beautiful especially with the um the uh, lovely uh, uh light colored leather interior um so well let's start here so this is the rear uh, quarter. Uh, that's actually in pretty, pretty good nick. And if I get right down at the bottom, I've got a, sort of a bit of a bubble there. Nothing too serious. This door it looks to be in pretty good order, as does the driver's door. And if I'm being fussy, if I get really close, I can see a tiny little imperfection on that bit of door. I'm looking at the driver's wing. Um, slight imperfect can you see what i mean about this is a very small thing you have to get pretty close to see that and right down the beginning um, at the front of this 
you've got a little bit of corrosion starting to show from this seal, but certainly not hold and certainly not in awful condition. And this is reflected in the price, because trust me, an 81,000 mile car like this, that's just had 3,000 pounds, over 3,000 pounds spent on it, it wouldn't be up for this asking price if the bodywork was a showroom. Um, various little marks on the, it's a bit harder to see actually on the front bonnet, but this is the worst of them. And there's a few little areas like that. But, you know, again, we step back, it looks rather special. I'm being fussy here. We know of a missing uh, reflector, which usually fits in there. They can be picked up quite inexpensively from, from eBay. Um, these tyres are all, uh, they've hardly done any mileage and it's a matching set of new tyres all round. This front wing looks to be uh, in, in, in very good order, I don't see any issues there. As is this front um, uh, passenger side door, as is the rear door, and into the rear wing all looks very good. Boot, look, boot lid looks good from here. And if I get down here, I can see here, can you see where we've got a bit of um, corrosion where it's taken the paint off here, but by no means terrible hold or even mentioned on any sort of MOT advisory. And again, if I'm up on the roof here, you can see I've got a, again, it's not hold, it's not awful, it's just a bit of early um, corrosion which has affected the, uh, the top coat of the paint here. Now, we haven't made any attempt to do anything with the paintwork other than just point it out to you and say it is what it is. The boot's really clean, a lovely clean carpet. It's very clean under the engine bay as well. Um, but what I would say is you'll take this car for a drive and you will immediately forgive it any bodywork imperfections. And as I say, reflected in the price, uh, just a few owners, predominantly one owner for many years tucked away he loved the car decided to keep it um, and it was bought by a Jaguar enthusiast put back on the road and I would just describe it as a car that you just want to get in and drive it drives beautifully well uh, the XJ40s as I mentioned earlier they are shooting up in value there's a lot of people that have realized what a, a very decent Jaguar they are the 3.2 is slightly more frugal uh, than a 4 litre you don't buy a Jaguar because you're looking to um, save money on fuel, of course. You buy it because of the style and grace and space. And we're getting very close to Mr. Lyon's brief when the XJ6 was actually designed. Um, lovely car. It looks really good, as I say, from walking around it at this pace. It looks absolutely beautiful, drives wonderfully well. And at the price point it's at, it does make the car a very good proposition. Now we offer a full UK delivery service at a competitive price. We also can offer a part exchange service. We take in classic modern vehicles, light commercials, motorcycles, and we would be delighted to speak to you about uh, trading or uh, showing you this car, letting you drive it. And I'm sure if you drive it, you'll want it. And um, yeah, the car is in stock with us here in Hampshire. And this is our latest classic we're bringing you today. 1991 Jaguar XJ40. It's an XJ6 that has a straight six engine. Um, it's a 3.2 auto. It is a uh, Jaguar base model with extras, which I've pointed out. Lovely interior. In fact, it's a fantastic interior. Lovely um, doe skin um, leather seats in wonderful condition. I think these old Jaguars always have better seats in them, my personal opinion. It's got that magic carpet ride due to new suspension, brakes, fuel pump actually, fuel lines, um, major service. In fact, everything that was needed to return this car to the road. Well folks, thank you very much for watching today's video. Wishing you the best. Take care.